The Maya calendar is a system of calendars used in pre Columbian Mesoamerica and in many modern communities in the Guatemalan highlands, Veracruz, Oaxaca, and Chiapas, Mexico. The essentials of the Maya calendar are based upon a system which had been in common use throughout the region, dating back to at least the 5th century BCE. It shares many aspects with calendars employed by other earlier Mesoamerican civilizations, such as the Zapotec and Olmec, and contemporary or later ones such as the Mixtec and Aztec calendars. By the Maya mythological tradition, as documented in colonial Yucatec accounts and reconstructed from late Classic and post Classic inscriptions, the deity Itzamna is frequently credited with bringing the knowledge of the calendar system to the ancestral Maya, along with writing in general and other foundational aspects of Maya culture. Overview The Maya calendar consists of several cycles or counts of different lengths. The 260-day count is known to scholars as the Tasolkin, or Tasolkan. The Tasolkin was combined with a 365-day vague solar year known as the Hob to form a synchronized cycle lasting for 52 Hob, called the Calendar Round. The calendar round is still in use by many groups in the Guatemalan highlands. A different calendar was used to track longer periods of time and for the inscription of calendar dates, i.e., identifying when one event occurred in relation to others. This is the long count. It is a count of days since a mythological starting point. According to the correlation between the long count and Western calendars accepted by the great majority of Maya researchers known as the Goodman-Martinez Thompson, or GMT, correlation, this starting point is equivalent to August 11, 3114 BCE in the proleptic Gregorian calendar or September 6, in the Julian calendar minus 3113 astronomical. The GMT correlation was chosen by John Eric Sidney Thompson in 1935 on the basis of earlier correlations by Joseph Goodman in 1905 August 11, Juan Martinez Hernandez in 1926 August 12, and Thompson himself in 1927 August 13. By its linear nature, the long count was capable of being extended to refer to any date far into the past or future. This calendar involved the use of a positional notation system, in which each position signified an increasing multiple of the number of days. The Maya numeral system was essentially vigesimal i.e., base 20 and each unit of a given position represented 20 times the unit of the position which preceded it. An important exception was made for the second order place value, which instead represented 18 times 20, or 360 days, more closely approximating the solar year than would 20 times 20 equals 400 days. The cycles of the long count are independent of the solar year. Many Maya long count inscriptions contain a supplementary series, which provides information on the lunar phase, number of the current lunation in a series of six and which of the nine lords of the night rules. Less prevalent or poorly understood cycles, combinations and calendar progressions were also tracked. An 819-day count is attested in a few inscriptions. Repeating sets of nine days see below, nine lords of the night, associated with different groups of deities, animals and other significant concepts are also known. Tisolcan. The Tisolcan in modern Maya orthography, also commonly written Tisolkin, is the name commonly employed by Mayanist researchers for the Maya sacred round or 260-day calendar. The word Tisolcan is a neologism coined in Yucatec Maya to mean count of days. Co 1992. The various names of this calendar as used by pre-Columbian Maya people are still debated by scholars. The Aztec calendar equivalent was called Tonalpahuali in the Nahuatl language. The Tisolcan calendar combines 20-day names with the 13-day numbers to produce 260 unique days. It is used to determine the time of religious and ceremonial events and for divination. Each successive day is numbered from 1 up to 13 and then starting again at 1. Separately from this, every day is given a name in sequence from a list of 20-day names. Some systems started the count with 1 imix, followed by 2 ik, 3 akbel, etc. up to 13 bion. The day numbers then start again at 1 while the named day sequence continues onwards, so the next days in the sequence are 1 ix, 2 men, 3 kaib, 4 kaban, 5 itzanav, 6 kawak and 7 ajah. 
With all 20 named days used, these now began to repeat the cycle while the number sequence continues, so the next day after 7 a jaw is 8 imix. The repetition of these interlocking 13 and 20 day cycles therefore takes 260 days to complete that is, for every possible combination of number, named day to occur once. The earliest known inscription with a Tasolkan is an Olmec ear spool with Tua Hau 3 Che 6.3.10.9.0, September 2, 678, Julian Astronomical. Hob The Hob was made up of 18 months of 20 days each plus a period of 5 days, nameless days. At the end of the year known as Wayeb or Uayeb in 16th century orthography. The five days of Wayeb were thought to be a dangerous time. Foster 2002 writes, During Wayeb, portals between the mortal realm and the underworld dissolved. No boundaries prevented the ill-intending deities from causing disasters. To ward off these evil spirits, the Maya had customs and rituals they practiced during Wayeb. For example, people avoided leaving their houses and washing or combing their hair. Bricker estimates that the hob was first used around 550 BCE with a starting point of the winter solstice. The hob month names are known today by their corresponding names in colonial era Yucatec Maya, as transcribed by 16th century sources, in particular, Diego de Landa and books such as the Chilam Balam of Chumayal. Phonemic analyses of hob glyph names in pre-Columbian Maya inscriptions have demonstrated that the names for these 20-day periods varied considerably from region to region and from period to period, reflecting differences in the base languages and usage in the Classic and Postclassic eras predating their recording by Spanish sources. Each day in the hob calendar was identified by a day number in the month followed by the name of the month. Day numbers began with a glyph translated as the seeding of a named month, which is usually regarded as day zero of that month, although a minority treat it as day 20 of the month preceding the named month. In the latter case, the seating of pop is day 5 of Wayeb. For the majority, the first day of the year was zero pop the seating of pop. This was followed by one population, two pop as far as 19 pop then zero wo, one wo and so on. Because the hob had 365 days and the tropical year is 365.2422 days, the days of the hob did not coincide with the tropical year. Calendar round A calendar round date is a date that gives both the Tasolkan and hob. This date will repeat after 52 hob years or 18,980 days, a calendar round. For example, the current creation started on 4 a how 8 kumku. When this date recurs it is known as a calendar round completion. Arithmetically, the duration of the calendar round is the least common multiple of 260 and 365. 18,980 is 73 times 260 to Solkan days and 52 times 365 Hob days. Not every possible combination of to and Hob can occur. For to Solkan days, Imix, Kimi, Shwen, and Kib, the Hob day can only be 4, 9, 14, or 19. For Ik, Manik, E flat, and Kabon, the Hob day can only be 0, 5, 10, or 15. For Akbel, Lamit, Bion, and Itzanab, the Hob day can only be 1, 6, 11, or 16. For Khan, Mulik, Ix, and Kawak, the Hob day can only be 2, 7, 12, or 17. And for Chikshan, Ok, Men, and Ajaw, the Hob day can only be 3, 8, 13, or 18. Topic. Year bearer A year bearer is a Tasolkan day name that occurs on the first day of the hob. If the first day of the hob is zero pop, then each zero pop will coincide with a Tasolkan date, for example, one ik zero pop. Since there are 20 Tasolkan day names and the hob year has 365 days 20 asterisk 18 plus 5, the Tasolkan name for each succeeding hob zero day will be incremented by 5 in the cycle of day names like this. 1 ik 0 population 2 manik 0 pop 3 exabits 0 population 4 kabon 0 population 5 ik 0 pop
Only these four of the Tasolkande names can coincide with zero pop and these four are called the year bearers. Year bearer literally translates a Mayan concept. Its importance resides in two facts. For one, the four years headed by the year bearers are named after them and share their characteristics, therefore, they also have their own prognostications and patron deities. Moreover, since the year bearers are geographically identified with boundary markers or mountains, they help define the local community. The classic system of year bearers described above is found at Tikal and in the Dresden Codex. During the late classic period, a different set of year bearers was in use in Campeche. In this system, the year bearers were the Tasolkan that coincided with one pop. These were Akbel, Lamet, Bion, and Edzanab. During the post classic period in Yucatan, a third system was in use. In this system the year bearers were the days that coincided with two pop, Khan, Mulek, Ix and Kawak. This system is found in the Chronicle of Oxkutskab. In addition, just before the Spanish conquest in Mayapan the Maya began to number the days of the Hob from 1 to 20. In this system the year bearers are the same as in the one pop, Campeche system. The classic year bearer system is still in use in the Guatemalan highlands and in Veracruz, Oaxaca and Chiapas, Mexico. Topic. Long count Since calendar round dates repeat every 18,980 days, approximately 52 solar years, the cycle repeats roughly once each lifetime, so a more refined method of dating was needed if history was to be recorded accurately. To specify dates over periods longer than 52 years, Mesoamericans used the long count calendar. The Maya name for a day was Kayan. Twenty of these kayans are known as a winnel or uinal. Eighteen winnels make one ton. Twenty tons are known as a cotton. Twenty cottons make a buckton. The long count calendar identifies a date by counting the number of days from the Mayan creation date 4 Aha, 8 Kumku August 11, 31, 14 BC in the proleptic Gregorian calendar or September 6 in the Julian calendar minus 3113 astronomical dating. But instead of using a base 10 decimal scheme like Western numbering, the long count days were tallied in a modified base 20 scheme. Thus 0.0.0.1.5 is equal to 25 and 0.0.0.2.0 is equal to 40. As the Winnell unit resets after only counting to 18, the long count consistently uses base 20 only if the ton is considered the primary unit of measurement, not the kn, with the kn and Winnell units being the number of days in the ton. The long count 0.0.1.0.0 represents 360 days, rather than the 400 in a purely base 20 vigesimal count. There are also four rarely used higher order cycles, Pictun, Kalabtun, Kayanchiltun and Alautun. Since the long count dates are unambiguous, the long count was particularly well suited to use on monuments. The monumental inscriptions would not only include the five digits of the long count, but would also include the two Tasolkan characters followed by the two Hob characters. Misinterpretation of the Mesoamerican long count calendar was the basis for a popular belief that a cataclysm would take place on December 21, 2012. December 21, 2012 was simply the day that the calendar went to the next Bukhtan, at long count 13.0.0.0.0. The date on which the calendar will go to the next Pictune a complete series of 20 Bukhtans, at long count 1.0.0.0.0.0, will be on October 13, 4772. Supplementary series Many classic period inscriptions include a series of glyphs known as the supplementary series. The operation of this series was largely worked out by John E. Teeple 1874 The supplementary series most commonly consists of the following elements. <laughs> Lords of the Night Each night was ruled by one of the nine Lords of the Underworld. This nine-day cycle was usually written as two glyphs, a glyph that referred to the nine lords as a group, followed by a glyph for the lord that would rule the next night. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar series 
A lunar series generally is written as five glyphs that provide information about the current lunation, the number of the lunation in a series of six, the current ruling lunar deity and the length of the current lunation. <laughs> Moon age The Maya counted the number of days in the current lunation. They used two systems for the zero date of the lunar cycle, either the first night they could see the thin crescent moon or the first morning when they could not see the waning moon. The age of the moon was depicted by a set of glyphs that Mayanists coined glyphs D and E. A new moon glyph was used for day zero in the lunar cycle. D glyphs were used for lunar ages for days 1 through 19, with the number of days that had passed from the new moon. For lunar ages 20 to 30, an E glyph was used, with the number of days from 20. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Count of lunations. The Maya counted the lunations. This cycle appears in the lunar series as two glyphs that modern scholars call the C and X glyphs. The C glyph could be prefixed with a number indicating the lunation. No prefixing number meant one, whereas the numbers two through six indicated the other lunations. There was also a part of the C glyph that indicated where this fell in a larger cycle of 18 lunations. Accompanying the C glyph was the X glyph that showed a similar pattern of 18 lunations. <laughs> Lunation length The present era lunar synodic period is about 29.5305877 mean solar days or about 29 days 12 hours 44 minutes and 2 plus 7 ninths of a second. As a whole number, the number of days per lunation will be either 29 or 30 days, with the 30-day intervals necessarily occurring slightly more frequently than the 29-day intervals. The Maya wrote whether the lunar month was 29 or 30 days as two glyphs, a glyph for lunation length followed by either a glyph made up of a moon glyph over a bundle with a suffix of 9 for a 29-day lunation or a moon glyph with a suffix of 10 for a 30-day lunation. Since the Maya didn't use fractions, lunations were approximated by using the formula that there were 149 lunations completed in 4,400 days, which yielded a rather short mean month of exactly 4,400 Topic: 29 plus 79 149 days 29 days 12 hours 43 minutes and 29 plus 59 149 of a second, or about 29.5302 days. Topic: 819 day count Some Mayan monuments include glyphs that record an 819 day count in their initial series. These can also be found in the Dresden Codex. This is described in Thompson. More examples of this can be found in Kelly. Each group of 819 days was associated with one of four colors and the cardinal direction with which it was associated. Black corresponded to west, red to east, white to north and yellow to south. The 819 day count can be described several ways. Most of these are referred to using a Y glyph and a number. Many also have a glyph for Kawal. The god with a smoking mirror in his head. Kawal has been suggested as having a link to Jupiter. In the Dresden Codex Almanac 59 there are chicks of the four colors. The accompanying texts begin with a directional glyph and a verb for 819 day count phrases. Anderson provides a detailed description of the 819 day count. Short count During the late classic period the Maya began to use an abbreviated short count instead of the long count. An example of this can be found on Altar 14 at Tikal. In the kingdoms of post-classic Yucatan, the short count was used instead of the long count. The cyclical short count is a count of 13 cottons, or 260 tons, in which each cotton was named after its concluding day, a how lord. One imix was selected as the recurrent first day of the cycle, corresponding to one sipactli in the Aztec day count. 
The cycle was counted from Katun 11 a how to Katun 13 a how, with the coefficients of the Katun's concluding days running in the order 1 1 9 7 5 3 1 1 2 1 0 8 6 4 2 1 3 a how since a division of 20 times 360 days by 13 falls two days short. The concluding day 13 a how was followed by the re-entering first day 1 imix. This is the system as found in the colonial books of Chilam Balam. In characteristic Mesoamerican fashion, these books project the cycle onto the landscape, with thirteen Ahaub lordships dividing the land of Yucatan into thirteen kingdoms. See also 2012 phenomenon Maya religion Mayanism Trace Zapotes hashtag Stella C Maya astronomy Aztec calendar equals equals notes <laughs>